we'll guide you through how to install shaders in Minecraft 1.21.6. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders really go and enhance the look of Minecraft, so we'll guide you through how this can be done. To get started, we need to go and quit the game. Next, we need to open up a web browser of your choice. I'll go and use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. So in order to go and do this, we need to go and get a shader loader essentially, and then we'll go and get shader packs. We'll guide you through what you need to do, don't worry. So what we can do is go and type in iris shaders like so, and we can then come to irisshaders.dev. Here, you'll be able to go and press download now. You can scroll down and read more about iris, but just to go and download it, press there, and you can then press download the universal jar. So we've now got the loader downloaded. What we need to do though is go and get some shader packs or a shader pack. There are different sites you can get them from. In this case, we'll go and use a site called Curse Forge. You can come to curseforge.com. Next, you need to go and select Minecraft and then you can press browse all at the top and you can scroll on the left and go and press shaders. You'll now go and see loads of different packs here and you can go and check out the images and see what they're gonna look like. In this case, I'll go and get the reimagined pack here. So I'll go and press files at the top. Then what we can do is go and get the most up-to-date one. I'll press the three dots to the right and press download. Now go and wait for this to download. It now has, but of course you could go back and get multiple packs as well to go and find one you like. But next we need to go and start the install process. Before we do that though, a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to place for a Minecraft server. So if you need one, check out the link in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment you can get yourself a discount as well. So it's definitely worth checking them out. Scroll down and you can start checking out some of their great benefits, like one click install mob packs, DDoS protection, instant setup upon purchase, and as well as that, 24 seven servers and support. I mean, you can get the help anytime you need it for your always online server. So definitely go and check them out. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now to go and do the install, we need to come into our file explorer and come to our downloads. Go and find Iris installer. What you need to do is go and double click on this. Now this is a jar file. If you're finding that it doesn't open or something else opens, we need to go and get Java. So come back to your web browser and you can go straight to java.com like so, or you can go and search for it. Go and press download Java for desktops and press download again. It will download and you can then install it like any other application. Then what you can do is come and return to the Iris installer, right click on it, hover over open with and press choose another app. Select Java and you can go and press always and it will then go and run. Then what you can do is go and select the most up to date one and we can press install and wait for it to go and run through, it already has. Now that it has, we can come and open up the Minecraft launcher. To the left of the play button, you can select the version, make sure you select Iris and Sodium. You can then go and press play and it will go and launch. We've successfully launched it. And then what you can do is come into a world. I'll go and do that now. Here we are in a world. If we go and pause it at pressing escape and press options and video settings, you're gonna go and notice this here goes and looks different as we're using something called sodium. This is what allows Iris to go and run. You can press shader packs at the top and open pack folder. What you can then do is drag and drop your pack in. I've actually added this already. It doesn't matter though. What you need to do is go and enable the shaders and make sure you select the pack and you can then press apply at the bottom. And as you can see, they've now been applied.